right so today we are going to discuss about the custom code in ssrs by using a visual basic script how can we create a custom functions in ssrs so if you are looking here i have created a small report with employee number and employee name salary and commission okay right so we have a lot of functions in ssrs those functions are already built-in functions so we can use these functions to create the different different uh, functionalities for example so if you are going to add one more column so what i want to do so i want to do one expression so that expression is this salary i want to divide with the commission okay the salary i want to divide with the commission whatever the employee is getting okay the column name i, wa I want to give commission salary okay right just go to the preview so it is getting something uh, like uh, infinity so what is the reason why it is getting infinity value because when it is going to divide a value with the zero okay if you are looking over here see in my sql server in this table whatever the table i have so the commission having zero so when you are trying to divide this zero for example this salary divided with commission so what's happening divided by zero error and so the same expression when we are writing in ssrs it is displaying the infinity so how can we avoid this infinities right so if you want to avoid this one yes we can avoid like this way by using some expressions by using uh, inside the functions like if condition is nothing or uh, you can do like this way iif if the commission value okay if it is zero if it is zero okay so you can do it is a uh, nothing is there i don't want to do any division if it is zero okay so i want to make it nothing otherwise if it is not zero if it is true it will display only nothing if it is uh, uh, not true not true means if the commission is not zero then it will do the division operation okay so this expression here you have to use iif uh, function so instead of uh, using the same function in the multiple places the same code you have to use what i want to do i want to write down one custom function by using visual basic script so that function you can use in any of the if you have more than one report in your SSRS, in your project, you can use this function in all the reports in your project. No need to write down the many number of times. It's a reusable. Not only this function, by using this code, if you are good in Visual Basic, yes, you can create more functions, whatever the functions are not supporting. The functionality is not supporting in your SSRS. You can create your own functionality. How can we do that one? So you just go to a report and the report properties, go to code. So here you have to write down your functionality. Okay. So I want to take one uh, sample functionality over here. Give a second. Right, you can use this one also. One example for this one. Okay, so you have to put this code over here. Public function divider. Okay, the function name is a divider. Okay, so I have two values for this function as input parameters. Okay, one is a dividend, one is another one is divisor. Like uh, this is salary, you can treat it as a this is a commission. Okay, right. The condition is if is nothing means the divisor means the commission is uh, nothing is there 
either it is a null or something or uh, if the divisor is equal to 0 then what I want to do I want to just return 0 else I want to do the division operation okay so my function name is divider okay control C so whatever the visual basic function you have to write down so the code you have to paste over here okay click OK so how can you use that function just go over here under expression so what you have to do you just write down the function name open bracket open so two input parameters you have to pass to do the division that is commission column so one thing you have to remember is whenever you are going to use these functions these are custom functions right so definitely you have to write down code dot the function name and whatever the input parameters so this is mandatory for normal SSRS functions already built-in functions whenever you are going to use you no need to write down anything directly you can use the function name but whenever you are writing a custom code functions you have to include the code as the prefix okay just click ok and preview it so this divider function you can use in uh, any report you can use in uh, multiple expressions because you have added that code in the your report project level here right so in this way you can use a custom code functions in SSRS okay thanks for watching the video please subscribe the channel